Hello, everyone. I'm Pam Bauer, Secretary of the MSA Coalition and Chair of the Research Committee. And I'm excited to share a few highlights of our research program. The MSA Coalition is leading the way to fund collaborative patient-focused research. Funded by individual gifts from the MSA community, the MSA Coalition has invested over $2 million in research grants since 2013. With these strategic grants awarded to global scientists, we are working urgently to uncover the cause, to develop better diagnostic tests, to perform critical lab studies, which will lead to clinical trials for MSA patients. In addition, we are partnering with pharmaceutical companies to promote patient-centered studies and aid in patient recruitment efforts. And we are organizing collaborative projects among multiple academic research centers so more resources can be brought to bear against MSA, all bringing us closer to alleviating symptoms, slowing disease progression, and one day discovering a cure. Researchers often cannot obtain significant funding from government sources such as NIH without providing preliminary data. This is where our global seed grants make a difference. These small awards can pay for one year of research and propel a project to the next level. Our collaborative core grants are focused on making an even bigger impact with our research dollars by fostering collaborative teams around the world to work together on a particular research question. Our travel grants support younger researchers and give them the opportunity to gain experience and to network with high level scientists at international research conferences. Our research program is overseen by a panel of world renowned MSA scientists and physicians. They ensure independent and objective review of each grant application and allow the MSA Coalition to fund the most promising research projects. After receiving a seed grant, it can take several years before a researcher makes a major new discovery. Some of our projects funded over the last seven years are now bearing fruit. This diagnostic biomarker project led by Dr. Florian Christmer uses a new method to differentiate MSA from other brain diseases through MRI imaging. This groundbreaking work earned him two separate awards in 2020. MSA coalition funded work in the lab of Dr. Virginia Lee, looking at the underlying cause of MSA, earned her the $3 million breakthrough prize for revealing that different forms of the protein alpha-synuclein are involved in Parkinson's disease and MSA. A moving video of Dr. Lee accepting the breakthrough prize at a gala awards ceremony hosted by talk show host James Corden can be viewed at the MSA Coalition's booth during our conference, as well as on our website. I encourage you to check it out. Another successful diagnostic biomarker project saw seed funding awarded to Dr. Gal Bitan, which has led to a new blood test that may distinguish Parkinson's disease from MSA. This work has had considerable press coverage this year, and you can learn more by attending Dr. Bitton's presentation on October 1st. Have your questions ready. One of the goals of the MSA Coalition's research program is to support work that can increase quality of life. This clinical study by Dr. Gregor Venning's team will explore whether using abdominal binders can help maintain blood pressure and reduce the risk of falls, as well as the need for blood pressure drugs. This project is also a great example of the dream scenario where our small seed grants lead to securing additional funding from other sources. Dr. Venning is chair of the MSA Coalition Scientific Advisory Board. He will be presenting on the diagnosis of MSA on October 2nd. He'll also be answering your questions live. Don't miss it. Existing drugs already approved for other diseases can sometimes be repurposed. A seed grant to Dr. Vasilius Meister tested whether MSA mice could be rescued by the diabetes drug Exendin-4. A positive result in the lab has led to a phase two clinical trial of the drug in MSA patients. If you check the MSA Coalition website, at the top, you'll find a link to the MSA treatment pipeline showing more information about Exendin-4 and other ongoing MSA trials and studies. Since Exendin-4 is already FDA approved for diabetes, should it prove to help MSA patients, the route to full FDA approval could be significantly shortened. 
We have recently begun rolling out our collaborative core project grants, which cover four major themes. Initially, these projects will include labs selected by the MSA coalition for their demonstrated willingness to openly collaborate. A major stipulation is that each project will be required to share the results with the wider research community. In future, other labs will be invited to apply to join the cores. We believe that nurturing these consortiums will give them a good chance of securing additional funds from larger funding sources like the NIH, European Union, and others. So far, Core E and Core G projects are underway with $485,000 awarded since 2020. Core E began in the fall of 2020 with funding award to Dr. Bieta Ritz for a pilot study looking at environmental risk factors for MSA. She will utilize environmental surveys, interviews, and biosamples of probable MSA patients to identify potential environmental causes. The Core G project began with an exploratory phase last year to gather information on available genetic samples from MSA patients around the globe. We are excited to announce that the Core G project has now officially launched. Dr. Dana Vuzman will customize Harvard's Clinical Genome Analysis Platform, or CGAP, to support the data needs of the project. Dr. Matt Ferrer and Dr. Henry Holden will provide genetic samples from over 1,000 MSA patients, which will be sequenced and stored in CGAP. The data will then be made available to the global research community so they can begin looking for common genes, which may provide new clues to the origins of MSA and new targets for drug interventions. Watch for the research presentation by MSA expert neurologist and board member, Dr. Vic Karana, on October 1st to hear more details about the MSA Coalition's core research projects. It's clear that the MSA Coalition has made an impact on research and we are very proud of our role as the leading nonprofit funder of global MSA research. We didn't do this alone. Every step of the way, the MSA community has been there partnering with us to support our efforts. This strong grassroots support has truly inspired us and fueled our mission. We are so sincerely grateful to each and every person who has helped us raise awareness and critical funds. To ensure that we keep building on the work done so far, we are asking again for your renewed commitment for the coming year. From now through year in 2021, won't you please donate or fundraise for this important cause? Our website is a great source for ideas on raising funds and awareness. Please know that our board and staff are here to assist you and we invite you to reach out to us when needed. If you can't give right now, please consider planning to make a legacy gift by naming the MSA Coalition on your will or trust. It's so easy to do and it will make an impact for many years to come. The MSA Coalition is committed to finding a treatment or a cure for MSA. We believe that funding research is funding hope. Thank you, and I look forward to seeing you again in person at a future MSA conference. Thanks.